Onward, my noble steed. It just occurred to me, the fuck is this guy? Ser seriously, what, 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 what the frig is that guy? He looks like a, a weird cheerleader monkey cowboy angel thing. Shut up, fact! No one likes you, you're the meg of this world. Upon arrival, huge blue ocean, new world set on a big ball of water. I wonder what they're going to do with it. Create love. Yeah, we, we've seen all this before. And why do you have a bandana around your face and purple wings, but you're blonde? And I don't know what the fuck that guy is. He's life, apparently. It's a simple being, but with time and can evolve into anything you want. Also, it multiplies. What? Isn't that dangerous? Yeah, that's why I'm here. My job is to control the popul- We read this, I think. Quite high already. You gave them weed? Why do you need to do that? Multicellular beings have to get rid of some of the cells occasionally. It's the first step to death. Look at that! What? I can't see anything. They're not multiplying anymore. What? But they should be able to. Yes, but they don't get to each other anymore. It's like they're scared of being so different. There has to be something we can do. Hey you, your name is Love, right? What? Oh yes, that's me. Hello! Could you make it so that they, I don't know, love each other? Oh, of course. I love it when people love each other. Here. Okay, that's to do the trick. <clears throat> sis! Sis, it's working! Those little adjustments continued for a while. It was fun to see everyone cooperate on the project. People rarely work in groups of more than two, here in eternity. But as everything does here, after a while, it started getting boring. We had already created all sorts of small creatures. All they could do was swim around, eat each other, and reproduce. None of them had feelings. Their relationships were purely artificial. They looked all different, yet they were all the same. Maybe I can do something about it. I'm good at creating personalities, after all. No. What? You don't want to give them a personality? It would be cruel. Why? They'd be much more interesting. Your mystery, right? You're that guy who created New Life Experience, right? Well, yes, that's me. So you must know how it feels to be a sentient being and know that you're one day going to die. Well, yeah, it happens occasionally in my novels, but exactly. Novels. Fictional characters. It means that none of them really exist. I know that. What about it? <coughs> those beings were created. They are real. It would be cruel to make them realize those things. That they are only small things fighting for survival. That their only purpose is to entertain us. That they will one day die, and it's necessary for their survival. I will not let this happen. It is unacceptable as a creator. Oh, well, it's your world after all. Do whatever you want. It's horrible! It's horrible! Damn it, fact! What the hell, fact? Don't you see our interrupting science? Nobody does that. It happened at the Hall of Eternity, and it is horrible! I don't think... I love horrible things. What happened, Mr. Fact? Please tell us. Something ho God damn it! Spit it out, man! <laughs> Such a fact! I mean, speak more clearly! Is it anything that really matters? Things you say are always useless. Foresight. Foresight is... Foresight is dead. What? <coughs> what? He said he wanted to kill himself. No! Foresight, how could this happen? Seriously, who the hell is this guy? That... That's impossible. We are Eternals, we cannot die. I mean, I invented that concept. It's meant to make novels more interesting. It's a fictional thing. But Foresight is dead. Shut up. Just shut up. We were all seeing something impossible in front of eyes. Foresight wasn't really a friend of mine. Sometimes he was even downright annoying. But I would never wish for him to disappear. He was part of our family. We were all part of a big family. What the fuck is that guy?! Hell, even Fact was part of that. No one likes Fact, but no one wants him to die either. I, I'm getting pissed off. Someone make him speak, because I want to know who he is. Hey, guys. What's that shiny thing over there? What? Huh? There's a shiny pointy thing attached to a stick right next to Foresight. What? How did I not notice this earlier? Is this a scythe? What did you just say? A scythe? Hey, wait a second. This is my scythe. What is it doing here? You murderer. The scythe is death scythe. A scythe cuts the- <laughs> God damn it, wait! <laughs> Fact! Foresight has been cut in two. Shut up for- Wait. What, what did you just say? I am saying that death killed Foresight. 
Is that a fact, or is that just you? What? No! I don't even know this guy that well. Why would I want to kill him? Death has killed someone who she didn't even know. <laughs> fact, you make everything sound horrible. Death is a danger to us all. Death will be placed in custody in the fact room. What? No! Sis! Sis! What did you do to my sister? She will be kept in the fact room until creation judges her. Poor Foresight. I loved him. No, why would Sis do that? How am I going to manage our world without her? I will now go tell creation what happened. That... Mystery? Mr. Mystery, did you just say something? Mystery wanted to say something. He will do it now. Sat the... Fact, you... Uh, who the fuck is this guy? That... Telling creation what happened. That can wait. No, creation must be warned. I didn't say we mustn't warn him. I'm just asking you to wait for a few cycles before you tell him anything. But why? You know how creation works. You'll probably just recreate foresight and do as if nothing happened. And nobody will ever know the reason of his death. We've already established that death killed him. Shut up, fact! Nobody has established anything yet. The only thing we know is that foresight was cut in two. Death had no apparent motive, and the time and place of the murder are still unknown. I love it when mystery gets in solving mode! I say that death was probably framed by someone else. Maybe this monkey cheerleader angel thing with an apsack. Which is why we need more time to investigate. Very well. I will warn creation in three cycles. This will be enough time to investigate. Good. I'm glad you understand that. However, if nothing is found during this time, I will refer to creation's judgment. Mr. Mystery, are you going to save my sister? If it turns out that she has been framed, yes. I will uncover the truth about this mystery. Let's start investigating. Woohoo! Who the fuck is that guy? What? Earth. <laughs> Cute. Hall of Eternity. Fact room. Dear God, it's horrifying. I'm gonna go to Earth. And probably find Kakarot. I decided to visit Earth once again. Earth is the name of the newly created world. It is where life and death spent most of their time. Therefore, I should go there and find out more about them. So the creatures are Earthlings? That makes so much sense. What the fuck? Okay. Bitch, bring it! Oh shit. I can't get hit? But they're Earthlings. Why can't I get hit by the Earthlings? You guys suck, apparently. Screw you, Earth! What the flying dong? Why is the Earth so angry? I bet, like, just under the water, there's a genocide going on. Hello, life! You should probably stop making all these things. Oh, Mr. Mystery! You are here! Damn, those things are annoying. They are fishes! They are very good at swimming! Well, apparently, they are very good at jumping at me, too. Aren't they supposed to eat each other instead of ganging up on me? Well, now that my sister is gone, they don't die anymore. So they don't even need to eat each other. There's almost no more room left in the ocean. They're trying to get out, and they're not in a good mood. I can see that. The only thing I'm good at is making them evolve and giving them general directions. Oh, really? You can control them. Well, I can do things like telling them not to jump at us right now. But it's my sister who controls the population. If only we hadn't made them autonomous. What do you mean? Well, you see, right now, they don't need anyone to check on them for reproduction. But my sister used to be responsible for cell division. Cell division? Yes, she would take a cell, cut it in two with a scythe, and then you get two cells. I see. Okay. That's what the scythe is for? Evidence! Badassery! Is there anything else that was cut with the scythe? Well, not really, no. There's just water and fishes here. Oh, wait. There's something. Rocks. Rocks? There are rocks in the bottom of the ocean. My sister used them to train. I will show you the way. Wait, there's no need. Oh well. Gonna go check out some rocks. That rhymed with socks. Whoa. What the flim flam? Damn it, life. Quit being so unstable. These guys are a pain in the butt. Such a pain. Man, they're annoying. Fuck you! I'm gonna get past this shit. I really don't like it here. Life, you should really take me away from here. 
This place smells, man. It smells like fish. It smells bad, man. Also, what the hell is wrong with them? They're all having a Caesar at the same time. Did someone do a Gallic gun on this bitch or what? What's going on? I don't get it. Explain some shit to me, man. Damn it, quit moving around so much. I'm trying not to get murdered. I don't want to get murdered. It's bad for your health. Really? We're going here? <coughs> Him. What the hell are those things? They are rocks! But why are they all cut in two? That's because my sister trained a lot on them. She wanted to see if she could cut a cell in three, four, or five pieces. But the only number she managed is two. I see. All the cuts in those rocks are clean. That's evidence, apparently. Very well. I think that I've gathered enough evidence for today. Well, there aren't much things going around here anyways. If ever you see my sister, tell her I'm cheering on her. Okay, I will. Anyway, I should probably go now. Come back whenever you want. <clears throat> Foresight would have seen he was getting killed. But he just did not give a damn. Game saved. Alright, that's good enough. Get the hell out of here. Goodbye. I love you. See you later. Whoop. Fact room. Now, nah, we'll wait for the next episode. Bye.